Hey guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back to another video. So today I've got my B5 sized teacher planner from the Positive Teacher Co. Um, and I've got the A4 dividers. And I've had a little play around and I've managed to work out a way to get these to fit into here. And I'm going to show you. I did ruin the first one. I'm not going to lie. The first one didn't go as to plan just because I cut it wrong. Um, let me show you where I've had a go. So the first one I did, as you can see, I just didn't cut the right size. I used washi tape to measure it um, and I just didn't do it right. So the last one is wrong. I could try and fix it, but I think for now I'm just going to leave it. But this is the one that, again, I steal the tiny bit out. You're going to get things like that. They're not going to be perfect because you're doing a bit of a DIY job here. Um, but I've still got the tabs. I still made it work. The only thing you can't do is have the tab on the back side. So normally there's a, a flip reverse on the other side. I haven't managed to make that work. But I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. So the first thing I did... Oh, let me show you what you need. You will need some kind of tape. I'm using double-sided sticky tape. You will need some kind of washi tape to measure out. Or if you want to just draw on it. But that's what I'm using to measure. Scissors. A pen that can draw on this kind of laminated fabric fabric Fab it's not a fabric on this <laughs> laminate pouch thing magic and i've got a cutter as well just so i can get some nice neat lines although you can still just use scissors you, this is not um essential you don't have to have that so the first thing i do is i've worked backwards because i was hoping i would get better as i go at doing it and then um the front ones will look really nice <laughs> we'll see so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to place them oh i've just realized a child in my class today stuck this on my hand um whilst i was doing the register <laughs> i felt something wet and i looked down and she's just doing a, a, a tattoo on my hand so please ignore the lol girl on my hand anyway back to this so I'm just going to push them in. It's so easy to get them in and out. They're literally just pushing like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow. I'm just going to make sure it's all in line. There we go. I'm going to follow that line. And I've already got some washi tape um, from where I've done it before. I'm just literally going to rip it off of that. You don't need to waste any. Keep reusing it. All I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it further out so i'm not going to line it up with the page because i want a bit to hang over if you're not bothered about these tabs do it in line with the page if you want the tabs go slightly over so wherever the line is where it lines up i'm going to go slightly over and just try and get it as straight as possible and then you should be left with a small width part there hopefully you can see um it's not i mean right now it's nearly nine o'clock so the lighting's not great but i worked it out and thought i have to come on here and show you then the next one i'm just going to line up along the top so this so the past few that i've done have been slightly under so i don't really want it to hang over so i don't mind it being slightly under I'm just going to try and line it up as nice as possible, like that. Then I'm just going to take it off. So that's acting as a guide. I'm going to then get my cutter. You want one that has got um, like lines on either part so you can properly line it up. So I'm going to make sure the edge of my washi lines up. And then I've got it flat up against the end there. So my best tip is start in the middle push out start in the middle push out if you try and go along in one cut you may have a, a stronger cut than i do but this one i need to start in the middle and push and then work back that's the best way to cut that off and there's that keep this we're going to come back to it in a moment then i'm going to do the exact same line it up Start in the middle, push away, and push back. Sometimes you might not get a clean cut. It's fine. Bend it, bend it the other way, it will snap off. Then what you can do is you can go back and test to make sure that that fits right. Let's have a look. 
once that goes in the book that'll fit there yeah this might be the one that i actually get right and it might actually fit properly then all i'm going to do is take this and line it up at the bottom if i do it on the white you can see it a bit clearer because it's not very light in here right now i'm just going to line it up from the edge to the edge so that's lined up there that's lined up down there then with my pen where did i put it with my pen you could even use a bit of washi tape to hold that down make sure it's still lined up i'm just gonna draw lines in those little grooves so this way that way and then hopefully when you take it off you can see the marks i don't can you see yeah you can see slightly with the light there um you can see the marks um where you need to cut again i'm going to go back onto my cutter that second one yeah i can see that there now it's not very bright maybe i should go back over that so i can actually see it two seconds where did it go It's um, a little bit tricky to see the second one. I might just line that up again and do it again, just to make sure. Yeah, that's more like it. Is that definitely the right size? I'm worried I'm gonna do the wrong one now. No, that's the right size. Okay, so like what we did before, start from the middle, work away. But this time you've got to try and match it up. Let's move that out of the way. You've got to try and match it with that line. That looks like it's in the middle there. So I'm going to start here, push away, find where that second line starts there and push away. So I've got two cuts there. Although I don't know if I had it mm, slightly, it'll be fine. Then with my scissors, this is where I'm just going to cut in to that part and join it like that. You could even use a craft knife here um, just to really get it precise like that. So now I've got the tab. The last thing you are going to do is take back this tab, chop that off, and then with your tape, double-sided sticky tape has been working for me. I'm just going to make sure it's around the same size there, and I'm going to cut it in half, so I will use that other half. I'm just going to tape it somewhere where I can get back to it. Now, I want the term me focus. So you can either decide if you want um, the other words, which are like term plans. What else do we have here? We've got term plans, weekly plans, meetings, records. If you want those, you need to stick it on the other side. But I want the weeks. Because the other ones do have design, uh, dividers. The weeks don't. So that's what I've decided to go with. They're all going to face that way. And then, there we go, cut it off. I'm just going to stick it like that. So that's how I've managed. Sorry about that, guys. The video stopped there. So, all I was saying was um, that is how I've managed to turn the A4 dividers into a B5 divider. So, then all I will do is I can actually work out how many, this is the undated, so I could work out how many weeks I need per term and then properly put these in. But as you can see, that fits. I've managed to make them fit and make them work. Um, and this one, I can't really tell that I've chopped away at it. You can see there's the dividers there. You can see the little tabs that hang out. Um, and they work perfectly fine. No problems at all. So if you are looking to cut them down, you can do it. Don't touch this side because this is going to be where it gets hard to re create this the first thing i did think was chop that try and recreate the holes but that's not going to be possible it's best unless you've got one of those machines that do 
um, punch into this. So if you've got one of them, fab, do that, simple. If you haven't, do what I've done. So yeah, if you need to do that again, go back to the beginning, watch it again, go slowly, watch it first, then do it. Um, otherwise, you'll end up like, like this, <laughs> one that's gone wrong. But at least I've done it so you don't have to. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that guys. I'm going to go and continue the rest of mine. Um, and then I'm going to get started to plan in here. I can't wait. I've got this one. I've got the daily planner. Yeah, I've got everything set up, ready to go. I've got my um, records as well, which I'm going to start working out what I'm using for um, what. I've got a couple of other videos that need posting. Um, all to do with planners i'm very behind on posting my videos on my channel at the moment but they will come eventually so if you watch that and think hang on a minute this sounds like it's been recorded in the past it's because it has not this one this one's been filmed recently but yeah i hope you enjoyed that guys and i hope that helped you and if you do create these um please share with me so i can see that they're working um and yeah i'll see you all again soon bye everyone